Hello everyone, uh, here's a problem. Uh, identify which element has been oxidized and which one has been reduced. So uh, we have Cr and Sn, uh, so chromium and tin, and you have Cr plus and tin four, and it goes to chromium three and tin two. And so it asks you to identify which one has been oxidized and which one has been reduced. So let's review our terms. Oxidation, again, is the loss of electrons, and reduction is the gain of electrons. So the step in solving this is I like to look at the, um, the charges of each one of these ions. So if you look at the charges, you'll notice that we have chromium on both sides, and the charges are quite different. So we have chromium plus and uh, chromium three plus. So this should tell you something right away. This should tell you something uh, is going on. There's a transfer of uh, something that's changing the charge, and this is presumably electrons. Also, if you look at tin, we have tin four and tin two, and again, this is changing. Uh, this is something involving the transfer of electrons, which is a redox reaction, which makes sense because we're studying that. Um, so both of these involve the transfer of two electrons, and that should make sense because this is a balanced chemical equation, and so there's a transfer of two electrons, and all we have to do now is identify what is transferring uh, the electrons and what is accepting the electrons, and then we can define what is oxidized and what is reduced. So if you look at the chromium, uh, we see that the chromium starts off with a plus, and it goes to three plus. Now electrons are negative, and so that would seem to indicate that the transfer of electrons is going to be um, basically that chromium is uh, is transferring electrons. Uh, if you look at tin, uh, we have four plus, and then we have tin two plus, and this would seem to indicate that tin is accepting electrons. Uh, because it went from a four plus. Again, it's accepting negative charges. The electrons are negative, so if it's going from a four plus and it accepts two negative, it should go to a two plus. So it looks like our chromium is transferring the electrons. They're coming from the chromium, um, and then they're going to the tin. So therefore, using our definitions, all we have to think of is the acronym OIL rig. Oxidation is loss, so they're coming from the chromium, so they're lost from the chromium. So therefore, uh, therefore they're lost from the chromium and they're gained by the tin. So oxidation would be uh, from the chromium. So chromium would be oxidized and tin would be reduced. And that's how you solve that type of problem. Good luck, everyone.